Highlights of the second half of the championship playoff. Hebron versus Quincy. Score at the end of the first half. Quincy 35, Hebron 34. Fans get set for championship basketball. Thank you, Chick Hearn. 16 minutes to go. 16 minutes to determine which of these splendid teams will know the joy of championship, which will know the heartbreak of defeat. And brother, that heartbreak is very real here on the team that can't go home with the bacon. There's Paul Judson letting one go. Quincy is out in front, the white-shirted Quincy team, by one point, long pass down the floor to Charlie Fast. Defense drops back quickly enough to keep him from going all the way. Gower takes it over in the corner and then pegs it out into the backcourt. And now Dick Thompson has the ball. And again on the man-to-man -man defense, Quincy goes into that under the basket weave. And Charlie Pass drops one in to push Quincy out to a three-point margin, 37 to 34. Even with the ball now, there's a high loft pass into Bill Schultz. Schultz misses the shot. Bill Judson sends it out. Ball goes back in again. That time Don Willebrand tries a shot. No good. This time he tries a shot and it's good. 37 to 36 now. Quincy in front by one point. That's little Phil Harvey dribbling into the corner. Now pegging it into Gower. Dick Thompson now goes into the line. Let's one go as he fades back after jumping into the air and misses. That's Ken Spooner with the ball. Passing over now to Paul Judson, number four. Big Bill Schultz under the bucket. Takes the high pass and it's in. Beautiful pass, Jack. Yes, sir. That was right on the mark. Just out of the reach of Bruce Brothers, who is a pretty tall man himself. Makes the score 42 to 41 in favor of Hebron now. Quincy shooting. That's Bruce Brothers letting it go. No good. Gower's rebound is no good. Bill Schultz has the ball. Oh, it's Ken Spooner. And Spooner trying to pass to Paul Judson. Runs into Charlie Fast and it's up on. Free throw line now is Charlie Fast. Shot is good, and Quincy ties up the ball game. 42 to 42. Hebron has it now. That's Paul Judson with the ball. And now Hebron is being met with a pressing defense that greets him at the center line. There's a four on one, and Paul Judson, the one defensive man for Hebron, broke up the play, batting the ball out of bounds. Dick Thompson sends one out to Phil Harvey. Back to Thompson. Harvey gets in there. Shoots one up and misses. Charlie Fast gathers in the rebound. Let's go a shot. It's no good. Ball hits on the end line. It's out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by Quincy. And Hebron takes it. They're pressing Hebron now. And they're having luck with it. Again, the fast break is all right. Gower passing off to Dick Thompson. But he passed off a little bit too early. There's Paul in there. Paul Judson committed the foul. Yes, here in the third quarter of play, there are only uh, two and a half minutes remaining. And as each minute passes by, the atmosphere here in Huff Gymnasium gets more and more supercharged. Dick Thompson shooting. It's good. Quincy out in front, 43 to 42. Now ready with a second shot. It's good. 44 to 42. Quincy out in front by two points. Quincy in the all-court press now, and they're causing trouble for Hebron. It's Don Wilbrandt finally clearing the ball, dribbling up the court. Ken Spooner shoots from the side and drops one in. All tied up again, 44 to 44. Big Thompson with the ball for Quincy. Quick pass into Phil Harvey. He's in trouble there. Out it comes into the backcourt. Dick Thompson lets one go, flips one under there to Gower, and Gower drops it in. Beautiful pass by Dick Thompson. That boy can handle the ball. Quincy in front, 46 to 44. Tight defensive press employed by Quincy now. Paul Judson whips it to Bill Schultz too fast. Schultz couldn't get his hands up in time to grab that ball and goes out of bounds and Quincy takes it. Quincy in front, 46 to 44 over Hebron. Charlie fast with the ball. Two times in the pivot area. He pegs it back into the backcourt. Dick Thompson is down under now as they wheel around the center. Bruce Brothers. Brothers tries to fake, then goes up and is fouled in there by Bill Schultz. That'll be two shots. Bill Schultz 
has two personal fouls. Nobody's in any serious danger on personals. No one has more than three at the moment. A minute and a half left here in the third quarter. Bruce Brothers makes his first shot. 47 to 44. Now Quincy leading by three points. Here's the next. And that one bounds away. Rebound is taken by Brothers. Now it's out in the backcourt to Dick Thompson. Brothers at the line. Takes the shot, passed off for Charlie Fast, but it's batted down by Wilbrandt and winds up in the uh, Hebron possession as Phil Judson dribbles far over into the corner. Now Paul Judson has it. Had a good opportunity for a shot, but decided to fake it. Phil Judson tries it, and Bill throws rebound to put in two more points for Hebron. 47 to 46. Foul is called on Ken Spooner. Bill Schultz has dropped in 20 points now in this ball game. That's as many as he dropped in all afternoon while Hebron was in the process of beating Rock Island. Bill Harvey will shoot. And it's good. 48 to 46. In favor of Quincy. Ken Spooner with that ball. He's going to try one from the side. It is in and out. Bill Schultz reached up there and almost pushed it down in but couldn't quite get to it in time. Quincy rebounds. Quincy in the white shirts, and they have the ball, and they have the lead. 48 to 46, two points. Phil Harvey shooting, missing. Ball is knocked out to Paul Judson. Nick Thompson back very fast. Had a chance for a fast break there, but Paul juggled the ball, and as Phil took a shot, he was fouled by Bruce Brothers. Four personal fouls on Bruce Brothers. Phil Judson on the free throw line for Hebron. Scores 48 to 46, Quincy leading by two points. First shot is good. Now it's a one-point lead, and Bill Judson has a chance to tie it up. 20 seconds left to play in the quarter. The ball game is all tied up. 48 to 48. Quincy has the ball now. 18 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Bill Harvey with the ball. Dick Thompson now takes it. Nobody at the pivot. Everybody's out in front. And Hebron almost intercepts, does intercept. No, he stepped out of bounds, couldn't quite save the ball. It was Paul Judson knifing in there, number four, but Quincy has it once again. Seconds left. There goes the ball, and it is no good, and there is the horn. That ends the third quarter, and the ball game is tied up at 48 all. Ready for the tip. Schultz gets it. Tips it over to Phil Judson. Judson lets one go from the side. It is no good. And there's a scramble for the rebound. The new man, Tom Payne, is tied up by Bill Schultz. Bruce Brothers is on the sidelines now with four personal fouls. They're saving him for the last few minutes when uh, they expect they might have a use for There's Ken Spooner letting one go. It's short. Over to Don Wilbrand. Wilbrand cannot make a nickel this half. He missed the shot. He's a good artist at shooting, particularly a one-handed shot. He's made two baskets in the entire game, which is way below par for Don Wilbrand. Look at that boy, Dick Thompson, scoot around there. Gallops around, bouncing that ball like he's on roller skates. The shot was missed, and Hebron takes it over. Paul Judson now in the middle of the court. Thompson all over the court. That's 29 in the white. Bill Schultz bobbles the pass, but Wilbrand catches the loose ball and scores. Don Wilbrand puts Hebron into the lead. 50 to 48 over Quincy. Quincy has the ball. That's uh, Dick Thompson. Now out to Phil Harvey. Just messing around with it in the backcourt, waiting for something to develop in close to the basket. That's Tom Payne over in the corner, that number 33. Jack Gower lets one go. It's no good. Bill Schultz rebounds for Hebron. Hebron leads 50 to 48 over Quincy. A basket right here for Hebron would be a mighty big one. Don Wilbur has the ball. Ken Spooner is by himself. The shot is no good. And Phil Judson goes up and comes down with that ball in a tangle with Charlie Fast of Quincy, and they'll jump for it at the Hebrew free throw line. Quincy gets the tip as Phil Harvey scurries to the sideline to gather it in and brings it up the court. Quincy has abandoned their weaving tactics around the pivot line now. Well, as standing still, Charlie Fast at the pivot world. Let's one go. It's no good. Bill Schultz. Is having a much easier time of things with Bruce Brothers out of there gathering in those defensive rebounds. Hebron has the rebound now. Paul Judson is in and is good. Dick Thompson with the ball over to Phil Harvey. Now there it goes into Bruce Brothers. 
Brothers lets one go, and it's good. Yes, sir, is Quincy glad to see that boy back? Hebron coming up the court now as Quincy goes into the all-court press. That's Phil Judson with the ball. Back out to brother Paul Judson. Into Phil again, and Phil this time shoots one. No good. Tom Payne gathers the ball off the bank board. Gives it over to Dick Thompson. Bruce Brothers again, lets one go. This time the shot is short. And Gower reaching for the ball, knocked it out of the grass for Brothers, who was there to pick it up. Goes out of bounds, and Hebron has it, and here comes Ken Spooner. Passes to Don Wilbrandt. Quick one now, goes out to uh, Phil Judson, who worked his way in, but didn't do much about it. Paul Judson lets one go, and it's good. Brother, 54 to 48, Hebron is out in front by six points. They're widening the gap. Quincy with the ball, feeding in the brothers. And Hebron steals that ball as the pass was too high. Phil Judson almost lost it. The pressing defense now. Pass down to Schultz. Schultz over to Judson. The Spooner out to Paul Judson. And he's going to let one go. It is no good. And a foul is called on Tom Payne. Foul called on Payne. Paul Judson will shoot. 54 to 48. Hebron out in front of Quincy by six points. And they've got uh, five minutes, just a few seconds less than five minutes to play. Paul Judson shooting, and the first one is bad. Judson sinks that one, and the tiny school from Northern Illinois is in front, 55 to 48, and Quincy takes timeout. Now we're just about ready to go again. We're in the fourth quarter of play, a little less than five minutes to remain to be played. Corrected score, that scoreboard is still on the foot. 50 to 55, Hebron out in front, and Quincy taking the ball in from out of bounds. Quincy in the white shirts, looking in there at the hole, trying to do something about moving that ball. And Quincy goes into the weave, the pass goes into Charlie Fast, he gets under the bucket, lets one go, it's no good. Hebron gets the board as Phil Judson gathers that ball in, coming down off the basket. Hey, Don Wilbrand all alone, and as he goes underneath there, Bruce Brothers fouls him, and that fouls Brothers out. Bruce Brothers is out of the ball game. And that is a heartbreaking loss for Quincy. As Don Wilbrandt drove under, oh, it looked like a layup shot as the defensive man forgot about Wilbrandt. Brothers trying to recover and stop the shot from going in, reached out and fouled him, and that is all for the best. High school center we'll see in a long time. The Green Giants were huddling in your picture. They break out of it now. They know they've got a big edge in this ball game with the absence of Brothers. Don Wilbrandt will shoot from the free throw line. Brothers is out of the game. Tom Payne or Gower or Charlie Fast, either one of them can handle the pivot duties in the absence of brothers. Two shots now. Here's Will Brandt's first. And still, he has the buck tonight. Don Will Brandt, a really fine basketball player, is having tough luck on his shooting all night long in this final game. He drilled the second one. 56 to 50. He's been out in front by six points over Quincy. Dick Thompson trying a shot is fouled by Don Wilbrandt. Hacking foul is called on Wilbrandt, number eight, the dark shirted Hebron. Dick Thompson will shoot two. First one is in there. It's 51 to 56 now. 52 to 56. As Dick Thompson sinks both of them for Quincy. Up the floor comes Hebron now. Moving that ball plenty fast. Trying a pass to Schultz. It's blocked and Quincy comes up with the ball. They've got Thompson tied up and it'll be a jump ball. Two-timing Dick Thompson. They had him tied up and a jump ball is called. Don Wilbrand and Dick Thompson jumping at the Hebron free throw line. Tip goes to Paul Judson. He flips a high one. A little bit too high but Schultz saves it. Batting it back to Wilbrand who shoots. No good. Dick Thompson clears the board for Quincy. A long pass down to Tom Payne. 
He has that ball off to the side of the basket, shoots, it's no good, and Phil Judson recovers for Hebron, and up the court they come. That's Spooner grabbing at that long pass, can't hold it. Spooner and the ball go head over heels out of bounds. Team that has captured the fancy of every basketball fan in and out of the state of Illinois. They just don't believe that anything as small as Hebron could produce anything as big in the figurative sense of the word as well as the literal as this basketball club. But Quincy has the ball now, and they're out to cause all the trouble they can. There's Tom Payne shooting, no good. Scramble for that basketball, and it'll be a jump ball between Jack Gower and Phil Judson. Gower in the white, Phil Judson in the dark, jumping at the Quincy free throw line. The ball drops right between them. And again, this time, it's Dick Thompson and Phil Judson. Again, the uh, jumping position is at the Quincy free throw line. The ball is up in the air. And Charlie Pass gets the ball, bounces into Bill Schultz, and uh, we'll see where which is the foul going to be called. Foul is called not for the bumping into Schultz, but for a hand that reached out in the part of Don Wilbrandt. Charles Pass will shoot. Ball is out. Heading out to the second one. That one is good. Hebron's lead now is cut to three points, 56 to 53. Don Wilbratton with the ball, pegs it into Spooner. Spooner has all the time in the world and didn't take the shot. They're going to play out the clock, I think, a little bit here. Take the shots when they're sure, but try to keep control of that basketball. Quincy is coming out now to press the backcourt of Hebron. They don't have complete freedom of action, and with that boy Dick Thompson around, they've got to worry about the basketball. He just stole it, and Quincy has it. Bill Harvey with it now. He's in the corner, and he's closely covered. Comes out of that danger area. Back in again now. Still can't find a spot to get rid of that ball, passing or shooting. Tom Payne tries to go in. Gets the ball up and in. Now Hebron's lead is only one point. Long pass down the floor to Ken Spooner. Bill Judson with the ball. He's been working the ball around. Bill Schultz is all alone, and he takes it. Schultz can make him when he's closely guarded. You leave him alone, and it is just making it too easy. 58 to 55 now. He's been regains his three-point margin. Tom Payne shoots from the foul circle. No good. Bill Judson getting the rebound for Hebron. Goes down to the out-of-bounds line, then passes back. Bill Schultz taking the return pass. Now Paul Judson has it, goes on in, and it's called for traveling. Too many steps as he went up for the basket. Hebron 58, Quincy 55. Quincy has the ball, Charlie Pass letting a shot go, it's no good. Gower going after that rebound. It'll be a jump ball with Gower and Wilbrandt jumping at the Quincy free throw line. The score is 58 for Hebron, 55 for Quincy. And uh, Quincy gets the jump. Tom Payne taking the ball and sending it into the backcourt to Phil Harvey. Harvey cuts in for the basket, lets one go. Charlie Pass gets the rebound for Quincy. His rebound is no good. Tom Payne is under there now and in trouble. He can't get rid of the ball. Bounces it off... Uh, Spooner's legs and has it again. Now Gower goes in all alone. Jack Gower was unmolested as he scored two points for Quincy. And Hebron's lead is one point. Don Wilbrandt with the ball. We're in the final minute of play. And a foul is called on Don Wilbrandt for giving the hit to Jack Gower. That can tie up the ball game. There are 50 seconds, 5-0 seconds remaining to be played in this game. One point separates the two teams. Hebron out in front, 58 to 57. And Quincy has a chance to tie it up. Jack Gower shooting. It's good. The ball game is tied. From this point on, I don't know how well you'll hear me, but we'll do the best we can. Paul Judson falls with that ball, and there's a tie up there. And Dick Thompson comes in along with Charlie Fast. They're going to jump it up between uh, Thompson and Paul Judson. And Thompson gets the jump, but Paul Judson didn't time it right. He went up too soon and got under the ball. Couldn't tap it. 
Ball game tied up. Phil Harvey with it, doing a beautiful job of exhibition dribbling there, going into the corner now. Tom Payne has the ball in the pass out. Dick Thompson going in, lets one go. Bouncing off the rim, no good. Rebound attempt by Fast, no good. And the ball is out of bounds, and it will be Quincy's ball. Dick Thompson will throw it in. Quincy down there with those players all set in the line, are setting up a screen play. And Payne is the man they tried to free as he cut around to the outside, but he had to drift back, and the pass is wild, out of bounds. Hebron takes the ball out of bounds. Ten seconds left to play. Paul Johnson with the ball. A press defense against him. Don Wilbrand with the ball. He goes in. Juggles the ball. Can't get rid of it. Five seconds left to play. Judson lets one go in there. Aim for a choke. And it's broken up. Is there time to shoot? Gower goes down there and loses the ball as it goes into overtime. Three minutes to go in the overtime period. In the center of the court, the officials are pointing at the clock. Showing them where it will be when the playing time is over. When it gets to the numeral 16 on the clock, the overtime period will be done. Schultz passes the ball to Phil Judson. We're in overtime now, the first three-minute overtime. Judson whips it out to brother Paul Judson. Now it comes over to Kim Spooner. Spooner taking his time. One basket is a big one here. Don Wilbrandt shoots a long ball into Bill Schultz, and he sinks it. Hebron goes into the lead. 60 to 58. Here comes Quincy up the court. They're a poised and heady ball club. They're not scattered a panic by that basket. Dick Thompson passing over to Payne back to Thompson again. Now he whistles one into the corner to Phil Harvey. Harvey can't find racing room. He gives it back to Thompson. Thompson lets one go, but it's wide of its mark. And the rebound is grabbed by Hebron as Phil Judson comes out with the ball and passes now to Brother Paul who's bringing it across the middle court. That's Phil Judson taking his time. Now Paul Judson trades places with him. Will Brad has it. He goes in and decides not to shoot. Peterson throws it out into the backcourt. Taking their time, Will Brad now has almost clear saving as he gets in there. He pivots again and throws it out, and there's Phil Judson all alone, and he scores what might be the clincher. 62 to 58. They forgot about Phil Judson under the basket, and he scored one. A wild pass goes over the head of Charlie Pass. Foul is called on Jack Gower, who fouled Don Wilbrand as he was driving in. Jack Gower fouled, Don Wilbrand will shoot. One shot, 62 to 58, Hebron is out in front, and the shot is good to make it 63 to 58. Hebron leads now by five points. Quincy coming up the court with the ball. That's Tom Payne with it. How much time is left? Less than a minute, 20 seconds remaining. Tom Payne going after the rebound, has it. He lets one go, it's no good. Bass has the ball now, gives it to Dick Thompson. Thompson going up the street as the ball knocked out of his hands by Wilbrand, but it goes out of bounds. No, oh, I'm sorry, there's a minute and five seconds left to play in this game. A minute and five seconds in this overtime period. One minute to go. That's Phil Harvey giving us a fancy damn dribbling exhibition and being fouled by Paul Judson as he went under the bucket. Ball got to number four, committed the foul. Phil Harvey will shoot one with 50, about 55 seconds remaining in this game. We're in an overtime period with Hebron out in front. After the ball game was tied, tied up at the end of regulation play, 58 all. Hebron has scored five points here in the overtime to lead 63 to 58. Around 55 seconds remaining. 55 seconds. The ball is dropped in by Phil Harvey. It makes it 63 to 59. Foul is called on Charlie Pass. One shot. Bill Schultz will shoot one. Determined to get after them. Determined to try and cut that margin down. Try and whittle it down and grab the lead themselves if they can in this short period of time. Schultz misses his free throw. But Quincy gets the rebound. Up the court they come. Time is precious. They'll have to shoot and shoot quick. Phil Harvey goes in. Gives the ball to Thompson. Thompson lets one go. It's no good, and Bill Schultz gets the rebound for Hebron. 
That makes things tough for Quincy. Bill Judson coming up the court. Long pass across court, and a foul is called. Foul is called on Charlie Fast against Bill Judson. That's four personals for Fast. Bill Judson to shoot one. It's good. 64 to 59. Ebron leads by five points with 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds left to play in the game. Bill Harvey dribbling that ball. Brother, you should be shooting. You don't have that kind of time. Let it go fast, and it's no good. Rebound. Harvey lets one go. No good. Still a scramble for the rebound. Dick Thompson comes up with it, but uh, let's we'll see what the call is. Going to be a jump ball between Schultz and uh, Gower. 16 seconds remaining in this game. Tip goes to Hebron. Paul Judson with it, dribbling down the sideline. He lets one go over to Don Wilbrand. Spooner's under the bucket. Doesn't bother to shoot, just gives it out to Paul Judson, and the foul is called on Phil Harvey. That about wraps things up for Hebron. Yes, sir. Paul Judson turns around at the free throw line and waves his hand at the rooting section. There's only five seconds left to play. There's nothing going to happen now. Hebron is the state champion of Illinois. This free throw is a formality. It's no good. Under he goes. That is no good. And there he's for and it's over. And look at this crowd go back. Look at that. He's in front. That ends our Illinois High School Association Championship Basketball Tournament in Champaign-Urbana. It's been a great tournament. We've got a new champion. And the Illinois Bell Telephone Company has enjoyed bringing it to all of you. Courtesy of Illinois Bell Telephone Company.